Most of my sisters and brothers live in the South, out of nine of us. Um, I'm the fifth one, it's four younger, four older. But um, three older and one younger live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And two of my sisters and my brother was receptive to it, but my youngest sister, it was like, um, when I did come to visit, it wasn't that I went so often. And um, well, you don't have to cook anything, you don't have to touch anything. And that was from my younger sister. And that was fucked to me, excuse me. That really, it just, that, um, That hurt it, okay? Because I came from a good family. No domestic violence, no alcoholism, no drugism. Church girl, college graduate, and this shouldn't have happened to Deborah. And um, it was hard at first with her. But the more knowledge I got about it and began to share what I was learning and they began to see me using this for good not getting sucked down. Oh, I'm gonna die and people don't wanna touch me. I began to look at it again as a blessing and use it to my advantage and to get out here and let other people know there's nothing to be ashamed of. If magic could stand up, I can stand up. You know, he might get a little better medication than what we getting out here today, you know, because of his resources, but hey, Anybody, age don't discriminate if you're a basketball player or if you're the street player in the street, you know. So by me educating myself and doing work for this disease that I have, sickness I have, or however people want to put it, 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 it helps me to get stronger. And I deal with it better now. And I'm just out to let people know you can do this. You just don't have to be ashamed. I don't care who see this video now that I'm sitting here, I don't got comfortable with it. And God works within me to let people know it's nothing to be ashamed of. You don't have to have sores and things of that nature all over your body. And one thing we really learned, this was not just a gay man's disease. This thing been with us for years and it might have just got exposed as a gay man disease. This is just my interpretation that HIV been in us for years and it acted breathed differently in everybody's body. Everybody's virus is different. Mine's is different from this person and that person. But it's up to you to make a difference with yourself. If you want to be healthy, I'm not saying I'm Diana Ross. I'm not too far from her, but I'm a good person. And I'm proud. I can look in the mirror without feeling shameful. Because at one time, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. I couldn't blame God. I couldn't blame James. Gregory, I don't know how I got it, but I did this to myself for letting that crack put me out there. And I tell anybody, don't do them drugs because you get mixed up in the mind and you get addiction, you will result to things that I thought I would never do. And that's why I'm sitting here today. HIV, not me, I don't have that. But I fooled myself and I thank God I had the strength to go to the hospital to get tested or else I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Thank you all and I hope this video helps someone out there.